Good morning to you too. If you're just stepping out, take a brolly with you, but make sure it is a sturdy one because today we're looking at some heavy rain and also squally winds across the whole of the UK. Already we've got some heavy rain coming in across northern and western Scotland, northern Ireland, parts of northern England, and this whole band of rain is going to continue its journey moving eastwards through the day accompanied by gusty winds. So after a bright start in eastern parts of England, you'll notice a cloud encroach and then the rain arrives. The rain's half the story, the wind is the other half. Now, the wind strength today could well prove to be damaging for some. We're looking at gusts 50 to 60 miles an hour across parts of Northern Ireland, Southern Scotland, Northern England, but across North Wales with exposure especially 60 to 70 miles an hour and similar 60 to 70 mile an hour gusts of wind across the Northern and the Western Isles. So it could lead to some disruption today. For example, we could have trees down or branches of trees down and ferry crossings may well also be affected. You might find too speed restrictions on bridges, some bridges closed to high-sided vehicles. So worth checking before you do set out. Now, as we head on through this evening and overnight, watch the milder yellows being pushed away. That's because the rain moves across into the east. It's a cold front bringing the rain and behind it, we're back into colder conditions. Now, temperature wise, you can see here twos to fives. That tells you roughly what we're expecting in towns and cities. In rural areas, it'll be a bit lower than this, but with still a strong breeze or a strong wind, we're not anticipating any issues with frost. So tomorrow we start off on a relatively dry and bright note in central and eastern areas. The shower is already in the west, moving over towards the east. And this white stuff you see in the charts is, of course, snow. And we're talking about snow on the hills. It's not going to be a low-level feature through the course of tomorrow. And in between, there will be some dry skies, some sunshine to look forward to, but the temperature is going down. So having seen temperatures in double figures today, they're going to be in single figures tomorrow. But it is a topsy-turvy week weather-wise. So if we have a look at what else is happening, you can see there's the UK, the blues being pushed away by milder yellows coming our way during the course of Thursday, accompanied by more weather fronts. So that means we start off on a dry and a bright note in the east, but rain from those weather fronts coming in from the west journeys eastwards. Still snow almost anywhere in higher ground, actually, during the course of Thursday, and then more showers following in behind. But the milder conditions coming into the south where it will still be windy, less windy across the north of the country where it will still be cold. Dan and Sal. After a dry start in some eastern areas, wet and windy weather already in the west is going to cross the whole of the UK today. The strongest winds will be in the north and the west and it could lead to some disruption. But I'll have more details in about 15 minutes. This morning. Morning, Carol. Good morning, everyone. I'm starting off with a beautiful weather watcher's picture. You can see how frosty it's been under some clear skies in some parts of the east. This picture taken by Simon Luckman, one of our weather watchers of Great Yarmouth in Norfolk. Now, in about 25 minutes or so, I'll be announcing the winner of the first ever pick of the season weather watchers competition. Now, this morning is a wet start to the day. It's also a windy one. That's mostly at the moment in the west, but it is moving towards the east. So we're all going to get a blast of rain and strong winds as we go through the day. You can see we've already had quite a bit of rain across the north and the west of the UK. That is already travelling eastwards, maybe some snow in the hills for a time. But further east where we've had clear skies, that's where it's been a cold start to the day. Hence the frost, for example, in Norfolk. But through the day, the cloud will build, the rain will continue to journey from the west towards the east. So we'll all see a dose of rain. But that's only half the story. The wind is the other half. Again, we're looking at gusts 50 to 60 miles an hour across parts of Northern Ireland, southwest Scotland, Northern England. More than that, 60 to 70 miles an hour across North Wales. And this is especially so with exposure and height. Similar values. 60 to 70 mile an hour gusts of wind across the northern and the western isles. Now temperatures today are higher than yesterday, most of us in double figures, but fairly academic because of the wind and also the rain. Now this is a cold front and as it continues to move towards the east behind it, we'll start to pull in some colder air as indicated there by Stornoway. However, with the combination of the wind and also the rain, it could lead to some travel disruption. It could affect ferry crossings, for example. There may well be restrictions on bridges, especially so to high-sided vehicles, some branches of trees on the roads, that kind of thing just to look out for. 
So as we go through the evening and overnight, our weather front moves down, eradicating those yellows, which indicated the milder air. And behind, we're all in cooler air, as indicated by the greens and also the blues. But although the temperatures are low, we're not expecting any issues with frost. It still is going to be too windy. And we start the day tomorrow again in many central and eastern areas on a bright note, but we will have a lot of showers tomorrow, some of them merging to give some longer spells of rain, some of them pretty heavy as well. And on higher ground, almost anywhere, we could well see some snow. But one thing you will notice, the temperatures are back down into single figures. But that changes as we head on into Thursday because here's the UK with the blues indicating the cold air. And then we've got this milder air coming in from the west as indicated by the yellows, accompanied by weather fronts. So that means more rain coming our way once again, moving from the west towards the east with some hill snow and then followed on behind with some showers. Still breezy in the southern half of the UK, not as breezy in the north. So it's in the north. The temperatures will be that bit lower. Sal and Dan. Carol, thanks very much indeed. Thank you, Carol. It is, but I've put it to the beginning of the weather now, Dan, but you're absolutely right. Now, every day we have the privilege of showing your weather watchers pictures on the television, rather like this one, sent in this morning from Simon in Great Yarmouth. And you've been voting recently on our favourite 10 autumnal pictures. So let's now reveal who is the first ever winner of the weather watchers picture of the season. Here it is. It's Tony with this fabulous picture from Port Paul in Bridgend. You can see the huge waves smashing against the breakwater. Tony is an avid amateur photographer and he says he sees faces in those waves, for example, a dragon, or then he thought this one looks more like a wolf. Now, thank you for taking the time and trouble to vote for these pictures. And if you want to get involved yourself, go to bbc.co.uk uk forward slash weather watchers where you can become a weather watcher we may even show you a picture on the television or online of course and we're already gathering pictures for our winter weather picture of the season so huge congratulations to you tony i do hope you're watching now today's forecast though is Rather inclement, we've got heavy rain and also squally winds. It's been raining quite steadily this morning across parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, Wales and South West England. But it's travelled further east. We've got drier conditions, some beautiful sunrises, but it's been a cold start with some frost, as we saw from Simon's picture in Norfolk. So the rain that we currently have in the west is going to continue to journey towards the east, eradicating that nice bright start. But the rain is only half the story. The wind is the other half of the story, gusting 60 to 70 miles an hour with heightened exposure across parts of Wales, 50 to 60 miles an hour, Northern England, Northern Ireland, and also parts of southwest Scotland. But equally, 60 to 70 mile an hour gusts of wind across the Northern and Western Isles. The temperature wise today, we're on the mild side, fairly academic, of course, because of all the wind and rain. But the combination of the wind and rain does mean that we could well have some travel disruption. So things like branches of trees on the roads, huge puddles, a lot of surface water and spray, bridge restrictions, especially to high-sided vehicles, maybe some bridge closures, that kind of thing. So if you're traveling, do check perhaps before you set out. Look at the yellows vanishing from the charts. That's because the rain will cross into the east and clear, leaving cooler conditions behind. The rain's been ticking along on a cold front, so cold weather follows on behind. These temperatures really are what you can expect in towns and cities. They will be a little bit lower than this in rural areas, but because of the wind, which will still be quite strong, we're not expecting any issues with frost. So first thing tomorrow, we start off with a lot of sunshine around, but equally a lot of showers, many of them in the north and the west and in the south, some of them merging to give some heavier downpours. And we'll also see some hill snow almost anywhere, but it is going to be with height. It's not a low level feature. The other thing you'll notice about tomorrow's forecast is the temperatures they're going back down. The temperatures are flip-flopping as we go through the course of this week. Highlighted quite nicely here, you can see the blues across the UK. Then they'll be usurped by the milder yellows coming our way, indicating milder conditions as we head on into Thursday. So we start off on Thursday in eastern areas on a bright note, but then as our weather fronts come in, bringing this rain, pushing steadily eastwards, again, snow with height on the hills. And behind all of this, we are looking at a mixture of bright spells, sunshine and showers. Still breezy in the south, so temperatures hanging on, not so breezy in the north. So here, temperatures will still be a bit 
on the low side. Dan and Sal, great news for Tony, isn't it? Well, clear and we, we look for weather. So I will use a picture like this morning of the frost to show it's frosty out there. And um, things like picturesque ones, beautiful trees, mist, fog, a lot of elements in it. Not things like, you know, if you're blocking the whole picture with you and your family and we can see a tiny <laughs> little bit of the sky, not that kind of thing. So we're, we're after views, beautiful views, so you, but showing the weather elements. You don't the week, of course I would. <laughs>